Okay, I'm in Portola, Portola, California. I'm at the Western Pacific Railway Museum. I just did the uh, rolling stock parked on the uh, south side. Now I'm gonna go to the north side, see if I can finish up what I missed. As long as I'm walking through here, I figure I'd shoot video to get credit for it. Heaven forbid I won't get credit. <laughs> All right, whatever. Eastern Plumas Rural Fire Protection District. Is that supposed to be an ambulance? This is fire rescue. Interesting little van. A lot of interesting little things. Like look at those little wheels. That's not for like a, a train car. That's more like a rail rider car. Something like that. Because of the uh, steam train running back and forth, it kind of smells here. Oh well. I'm really surprised they haven't tried to uh, have a camera that records smells too. <laughs> oh well. Someday a dude's gonna figure that out and make a lot of money. Actually, they had that as a gag at um, Disneyland, at A Bug's Life, where you could like smell distinct bugs and stuff. That was really cool. Western Pacific 708. I'm gonna head up here. Somebody already here. I'm sure she won't mind if I join her. So. Interesting cage. Maybe that's for Halloween. <laughs> See if I can get some light. Yeah, all I see is my reflection. Bunch of switches. Oh well. Let me get down here real quick. Again. Western Pacific 708 EDM GP7 built 1952 1500 horsepower dual controls Ooh. I'm so excited all right here we go actually I have no idea what that means <laughs> all right Oh, this is a better window. Still a bit dirty. Oh well. Excuse me. As long as I'm up here. See if I can get it. Oh wow. There's a wasp inside that hole. Let's see if I can get a focus. Focus, you fool. Oh, my camera doesn't focus close up very well. Uh oh. <laughs> it tried to come for me. There we go. Just open that briefly to look around. Nice. All right. I'm gonna close that door. Okay. That one just stung me. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me get out of here. As long as I'm up here, I'll go ahead and do this one too. Six hundred volts, huh? Nice. All right.
Dang it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, these stairs are so steep, I have to go backwards. Use my hand so I don't fall down and go boom. Notice I got the connections done for the air brakes and whatever. Not sure what's inside there. Seven twenty-five. This is seven thirty-one. I'm next to. It's funny, there's hardly any crowd here because everybody wants to watch the steam train go back and forth. So, as long as I stay away from the steam train, I got tons of time. Oh, well. There are some. Oh, wow. This is a good view right here. I didn't realize it's coming this way. They got more switches in here, lights, control, auto standing, front lights, all sorts of different dials and all switches. Alrighty then. See what's in here, if anything. Windshield wipers, more knobs, dials, a chair. Definitely different, um, what's it called? Model number. So yeah, there's the garage, whatever you call it. Feather Ribbon and Western. Huh, looks like it used to say United States Army on it. Wonder if the Army is still looking for it. Western uh, Pacific, that must have been rebranded too, however you say that. Interesting, a lot of interesting stuff up here. Feather River Society, whatever that means. Danger, 600 volts. 
Just like in the movie Airplane 2, the sequel. Danger vacuum. Okay then. Not sure why they have this open and we're supposed to be in there. It's a nice little view. Watch for trains. 600 volts. I guess that's like the industry standard, at least in the United States. I think every country does their own thing. They're like, I'm smarter than the other guy. I'm sure you are. It's hard to focus. Locomotives, locomotives. Notice a lot of these only have two axles at each end. And there's the mystery caboose train. If you go to their website, that's like the main thing they brag about is the caboose train. A lot of people never get a chance to ride in a caboose. And here they got cabooses coming out of there. Oh. <laughs> See if there's anything good in here. Oh, this one's all empty. It looks like they got a stuff missing. Suspicious. Uh, oops. <laughs> Ding dong, the witch is dead. What Leslie Nielsen movie was that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of wasp up here. I'm gonna get stung again. My hand hurt for like five minutes last time I got stoned. It wasn't pretty. All right. Oh, cool. Okay. The window, the glass is gone. So I'm gonna take a little look around. See, there's a chair here. Got a cool panel here. Amperes DC. Wow, it goes up to like almost 2000 amperes. Amperes or amperes? I'll just call them amps for short. I think one of these is a throttle. I'm not sure which one. Miles per hour, looks like it's only designed to go up to 90. Oh wow, see where the window is smashed? Right next to the chair. I wonder if the window actually got damaged by somebody leaning back in the chair or something. Kind of messed up. Oh well. That's why anything's gonna have wear and tear. You can't really keep everything pristine forever. That's why most stuff is cheaper used than new. You don't know where it's been. Clean down here and then I'll show you. These locomotives, they're all coupled together. Like, um, they're gonna run it for real. Well, see, there's these, the big ones, the air hose. I'm not even sure what the smaller ones are. The coupler and then the platform, walking platform. Kind of cool. Arizona Central. It's lost, we're in California. Oh, well. 712, there's a catchy name for a train. Alrighty then. Almost fell backwards that time. Yeah, it's too dark in there. All I see is the sign that says 600 volts. It's like, okay, we get it. He's got 600 volts. Yeah. I saw the smoke coming from. So he said, keep that. Where's it going? Since I'm at the end of the train now, don't know how to get down here. Watch all these guys. Yeah, my camera's too wide angle. 
No, I'm gonna stay up here. Yeah, I'm gonna stay up here. This is the stuff in the way. Okay, no more. No more. Keep off the cupola. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> What happened to 164? See if there's anything good in here. Well, see it looks a little worn out. Got the same old switches as the others. Ooh, a Motorola radio. Is that fancy or what? All right, good to know. Oh man. Windshield wiper, a little bit rusty. No, nope, can't see in there. All right, let me do the other side. So. See if there's anything in here. No, nope. PC, no, I don't know what PC is. Political correctness? <laughs> Probably not. WP. Western Pacific number 484. Final order for cabooses. 37 foot 0 inches overall length. Alright, good to know. Oh, no, can't look in there. He's like, we are, we're not running until we fill it. Yeah, I understand. Alright, then. This is the kind of the cupola sticking out. Cupola, cupola. There's the steering wheel. Go left, hard left. Or was it hard to starboard? Nope, nothing in there. Uh, it's 483 for the next one. Yeah, looks like those windows are all messed up too. So I'm just gonna skip it. It's a passenger car. Wait, can I see in the end here? 
Oh, hello. Okay, now we're having fun. Oh, of course the door's closed. Too easy. The train is coming. Go ahead and get this video real quick. As long as I'm here. Finish this one side here, the uh, passenger car. <laughs> this one only has two axles at each end. Some of the passenger cars, they have three axles at each end, so they're more uh, smooth ride. Western Pacific again. It's funny, I don't see any information here about the actual railroad. Was it here or is it somewhere else or what? Because the Union Pacific is here now. Oh, there's my reflection. What's, uh... Let's see here, can I see? No, it's not coming this way. All right, never mind. Let's see if I can look inside this one. Danger, 600 volts. Six oh eight EMC NW two, built nineteen forty, ex Union Pacific one thousand one, second diesel acquired by UP. Ever for real? That sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> Oops. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. There we go. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. All right. Well, let's see if I can get down here. Ow. I just want my knee on the stairs. You'd think I would learn to watch where I'm going. Six zero eight. Railroad well, uh, six zero three six zero eight. A switching locomotive. Not to be confused with a real locomotive. <laughs> Who's train loading the big boy? Oh, well, they got a model train over here, too. Who'd have guessed they would have trains at a railroad? All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Actually, I think most train museums have a model railroad, too. At least then they can keep it running dirt cheap. So, okay, so here's a, some kind of maintenance vehicle. Not sure what this one does. Exhibit Co. Oh, a Tamper, 504. It's common sense. There's all the cool knobs and stuff here. Getting to uh, the busy part here. Let's see if I can get past these people. Another rail rodder with a trailer. 23. I don't know why this has a 23 on it. Yeah, it's just got the hand crank in front. It's kind of neat. I definitely want one of those. I wonder how rough it rides. 23. Exhibit code motor car 23. Let's see what's inside. Didn't have a steering wheel, it's just got like a couple stuff. It's got three buttons, I'm assuming it's a manual transmission. So. Thank you. Uh, 
exhibit code SPMW5594. Interesting. The steam train is going to be coming this way. No. Okay, I already climbed on these, so I can go pretty quick past them. Steam train is going to be coming on this right track, so when it's coming, I'm going to have to get out of the way. But for now, I'm going to push my luck. Big bucks, big bucks. Hardly any whammies. This place is really cool that they let you climb on most of the equipment too. Obviously a lot of stuff is like, don't touch. Obviously they want to protect it, but let's face it, it's already junk. <laughs> In the good old days, you were allowed to climb into the top of the Great Pyramid of um, Egypt, Giza, or however you say that. Unfortunately, there was so much damage, plus now wear and tear, unavoidable wear and tear, that they don't allow people to climb up there anymore. I would have loved to do that. That would have been so much fun. Good exercise, too. I climbed Mount Egypt and it was awesome. Go behind this guy. He was here first. All right, so this is Feather River Route. Like anywhere in the world that is. All right, see if I can get up here real quick. Huh? Going? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll be quick. I'm not waiting for the steam train yet. Run around the... Yeah, I'm doing my best to avoid the crowds while they're all waiting in line to do the Disneyland ride. <laughs> it's a nice view right here. Nothing out there. Oh, the door's open on that side. Cool. Yeah, see, it's got a little hook on it, so... Yeah. Uh, oops, all oh, perfect timing. <laughs> the door is unlocked, that means you go in, right? <laughs> yeah. Too bad all the passenger cars are locked up. I'd like to see inside of those. But, oh well. Oh, you can go clear through. Cool. I just want to see the nose. Pull battery switch after engine shut down. I guess if you fail driver's ed, they got instructions just in case. <laughs> so. Hey, sir, take the seat off. I want to get a shot oh. of you in the Let me. driver's seat. All right. Wow. Yeah, it's a little crowded here because the train's coming. Let me uh, get out of the way here. See if I'm in the way of anybody important. Let's see. Okay, I need to stop and start the video again because I'm almost to the halfway mark. For whatever reason, these videos can only be half an hour long. 